Hey everybody, welcome back to the wood shop. Well, it's springtime, at least when we uploaded this video. It's a time for things to come back to life, flowers and green things everywhere, time of renewal. We thought this would be a good time to build a planter box. Now we've got about four board feet of cedar sitting here in front of us, and cedar is a great wood to use outdoors. The first thing we have to do is clean this up. It's still some rough lumber, so let's break out the planter. I'm going to go ahead and clean up and square the edges of these boards now, but we're going to cut the end caps at a five degree angle, so I'll have to wait till those are cut before I know exactly how wide these need to be. I'll come back and cut them again later. All right, now that the edges of our boards are cleaned up, we're gonna flush one end and cut three of our boards to length. For the bottom of our box, we'll need 20 and a half inches, and for the side panels, we'll need 22 inches. So let's go ahead and get those cut out. All right, now our planter is gonna have a five degree angle on each side. So I'm gonna to have to take and cut a five degree bevel with the table saw on each side of this bottom piece. So we decided that five degrees just wasn't quite enough. It needed a little bit more flare, so we added another three degrees. Now we're at an eight degree bevel. We went ahead and cut the bottom. Now I've got to cut the front and back panels to that same eight degree bevel on the bottom and on the top, but this time instead of going toward each other, they have to be parallel. Alright, the last two pieces we need to cut for our planter are the end pieces. And because uh, the other pieces are at an eight degree bevel, we have to come over here to the miter saw and cut these pieces at eight degree angles as well. So let's go ahead and get these cut out and it'll be time to assemble. Okay, now that we have all of our pieces cut, it's time to assemble this thing. We're gonna be doing that with inch and a quarter brad nails and some wood glue. Because this is going to be outdoors, We've chosen to use Type Bond 3. Um, it's supposed to be waterproof, so that's going to be a really good idea since there will be plants inside this planter and they will be watered. We've assembled our planter. We're almost done. We're going to sand this down with some 120 grit. Um, it's already pretty smooth from the planter, but we just want to give it that little bit extra. And this is beautiful. I mean, look at this. Once we put some oil on this, this is going to pop. I'm really excited about that part. Sanding's kind of like boring, but necessary. So we're going to do it. 
This is the first project we've done for you with Cedar, and if you've never worked with Cedar before, it is such a pleasurable experience. It's so aromatic, and the whole time you're working with it, it's just this wonderful smell. I love it. Um, if you haven't made something with Cedar yet, I highly recommend it. It is really, really one of the better smelling woods that you're going to work with. But let's go ahead and um, get this sanded down and then it'll be time for everyone's favorite part. It is time to finish our planter, and you've seen us in a lot of our videos use Watco Danish oil. We're going to try something a little different today. This is Watco's Teak Oil One Step Finish, and the reason that we're trying this out is because it says that it is great for outdoor furniture and on marine surfaces such as wood boat decks, cabinets, and rails. So um, this is going to be outside, it's going to be in the weather, and we want this to last for a long time. So we're going to try teak oil and see uh, what it's like. I have shaken this pretty well, um, so let's go ahead and apply this. I can't wait to see the cedar. You can already see it's got this nice pinkish purple. Um, I just can't wait. So let's open this up and get started. Well, there it is, a cedar planter. All it's missing now is some plants. I really love the way this turned out. This would be beautiful with some white or yellow flowers or both to contrast with this rich purple cedar. It's just really, really a lovely piece. I'd love to have another one, a mate to go with it so that we could have one on each side of the porch. You can do lots of things with cedar. If you'd like to see us do another project with this wood, let us know in the comments. Yeah, we actually made this one you can see here with eight degree angled sides but it'll hold plants just as well if you make it square and you know cedar holds up really good against the elements you can probably plant directly in this and it'll last you a long time but you might can extend the life some if you put in some kind of a liner if you've enjoyed today's video, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Never miss an episode. We're also on Facebook at Woodsongs by Russell, and we have a website, woodsongsbyrussell.com. If you'd like to support this channel, we do have some items up for sale, so be sure to go check that out. We'll have links in the description below. Thanks again for joining us today. Happy woodworking!